Welcome back to the show, everyone. My latest announcement is I have a little business card stand now sitting on my desk that holds my phone so I can do these timers without, or do the timer without my phone falling everywhere. It's, it's, it's nice. And this is apparently the level of my exciting life. Anyway, in the last episode, we finished off Jet Chan for good. And I'm going to do a little bit of surgery to the base. Now, I had said... Oops. I had said that I wasn't going to do any items here, or any traps in these two topside shacks, because, um... Like, it's... If these get caught on fire for some reason, it takes the minions flipping forever to grab fire extinguishers and run over here. And I don't usually like to deal with it. But we've had so many people running around the island that I think having more distractions anywhere on the base is a good idea. And putting them here ensures... You guys are probably hearing an echo since I have the volume up so high. I need to fix that. Anyway, um, putting a couple topside shack, shacks with distractions is probably good just in case we have more company who arrives. We're also going to move around some traps in the first hallway to try to make things a little easier. Like, okay, for example, like right here, we have this intersection and if any agents of good come to the inter come into the base, they're going to encounter the intersection. So, we are going to place a few of these and I forget what the do not press button does I think it messes with your attention anyway we're gonna stick that in there and see how that how that does um, and so if any of the any of those lasers get tripped it'll activate I might replace that um, I had said in an earlier episode that part of the fun of evil genius is just experimenting with different um, just experimenting with different setups for your base and different trap formations and finding the ones that you find the best. Because there are all sorts of traps and, you know, there's all sorts of things you can do. Uh, some are more effective than others, of course, but I, I like this game so much that I actually like playing it less than optimally for that reason. I like just messing around and experimenting with traps I've never used before, which is why I'm setting up all those money traps outside because, uh, as I said in the last episode, I don't even recall seeing those traps before. And so it's kind of fun to play with something I haven't played with yet. Alright, and then we're going to set up a trap here. Uh, Brian requested that I... Ooh, actually, let's do that one instead. Ah, oh, but I can't put the thing there now. Darn it. Uh, okay, we're going to have to move this laser here. I'm trying to think how I'm going to pull this off. Oh, oh, I know. Pull that laser there. And we're going to put this laser... Where is it? New laser here. And then, now this is kind of dumb. You can't move objects one tile over when they're two tiles big. So I'm going to have to move this like down here because I want it just one tile over. Wait, actually, never mind. I can just stick it there. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll put another laser trap there once the, that gets moved. Okay, so the giant magnets are the opposite of the giant wind machines. The magnets will just automatically pull anybody over there. It'll automatically pull anybody toward them. So we're going to trap our base just a little bit more. It's possible to beat the game without worrying about traps, especially if you just want your minions to have more of a hands-on experience. Traps generally just make things um, a little bit more automated for you. So you have less to worry about being an evil genius. I mean, after all, you are too busy to deal with that BS. You are here to steal stuff and make the world a better place. A better place. Alright, have you seen anything bad? Nope. Good. Okay. Oh, and I also need to change the security on the doors because... Or did I do that already? I think I did that already. Yep. 
since I set those to level one with the accountants, and now the accountants are gone. They have finished their job. All right, looks like that will be good. Okay, so we have some traps set up now. Um, those were loyalty traps, and I had a comment a few, a couple episodes ago, episode 27, I think, from Stan Rain, one of my regulars, who asked uh, if there are any objects in the game that fix loyalty, since I had that string of, um, of minions who just suddenly had loyalty problems. And there are no objects that directly help loyalty, because your evil genius is a walking loyalty machine, essentially. Um, anyone who's anywhere near her or him in the radius gains their loyalty fast. But the other reason is because every piece of physical loot in the game, and I mean every piece of physical loot, um, exudes a loyalty aura. And it would be redundant, and not to mention pointlessly expensive, if there were objects to buy that increased loyalty, because it's unnecessary. I play this weird strategy of min-maxing, um, as you've seen during the series, where you, uh, where, where I have a lot of situations where I'm not using loot nearly as much as I should. In fact, I left the first island and only had eight pieces of loot. And the reason for that is because it's a real pain when you have, like, 30 pieces of loot when you move from island one to island two, and it just takes much longer to set up, and it already took me, what, three hours? It was only two episodes for you, but I think it took me three hours to set up the second island before I could actually do anything. Um, so I try to simplify that, which is why I don't use too much physical loot. But the way the game is designed, you're supposed to be constantly getting physical loot, or at least regularly getting physical loot, and then positioning it wherever around your island and your base. That way your minions can gain their loyalty as they walk around and everything. And it presents this really interesting risk-reward mechanic because if you put loot in the most accessible rooms, like if I put them in the staff room or the mess hall or the infirmary, where they would be used the most, it also puts those items at risk for the forces of good when they come to your island because they can either take pictures of it and raise your heat level or steal it back. And, of course, some items you can't get back, even once you've stolen them once. Um... So to make the game more exciting, or the Let's Play more exciting, I will start putting some loot. Why did I just lose a bunch of people? Well, hi there, Frostanova. Anyway, um, so I'm going to start putting some objects up front. Just not a whole lot, because I do want to keep some control. But, you know, like I said, we're... Whoa. <laughs> well, that's facing the wrong direction. Um, you guys want to, you know, fix that? Thanks. Um, all right, so now we move it back. There we go. Sorry, martial artist. Uh, and what does this trap do? I, well, I guess he has to unpack it first. Like, I know it's a do not press button. I just can't remember what it damages. Uh, attention. Okay, that's not so bad. Alright, so... Um, so yeah, since we're already experimenting with traps and doing some fun things that I haven't done before, just to see how they work, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some loot in the front rooms, just to make the Let's Play a little bit more exciting. So it's gonna be fun, and we haven't really accomplished anything yet right now, so let's go get us some physical loot. It'll also help us, uh gain some more research things as we go. In fact, I'm gonna take a risk and click the research button. Okay, no crash, we're good. All right, so let's go get let's go get some physical loot. Who hates us the least? Or I should say, what region is most complete? Because we, uh, we've been doing pretty damn good. Isn't the frozen caveman or iceman here? Yeah, there he is. Three workers, three techies, okay. Three workers and three techies can get the Iceman. We'll actually put in five techies so we have the mission time. And then let's see, where else? That was green. Uh, two valets, two techies, and two guards. Two va oops. Two valets, two techies, two guards. We'll add one scientist and one merc. Okay. That's orange and yellow. How about blue? 
Physical loot? Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's see. Red? Physical loot? Nope. Okay. Green. Physical loot? Nope. Wow, we're doing pretty good. I didn't realize we've made this much progress. Okay. Well, that works. Everybody has their orders. And meanwhile... Oh! Ah. <laughs> you know you would press this button, too. The problem with the do not press the, the button trap is that it only affects one target. I like traps that attack uh, more than one target, but man, that cut his attention by half. That's wonderful. All right, we haven't hooked this one up yet. This is going to get a little weird the way I'm going to have to link it. There we go. That's kind of convoluted, but basically all three of these lasers trigger one magnet, which triggers the other magnet, which triggers the loyalty trap. So I guess that doesn't really help. This combination actually doesn't really help unless people are down this hallway, but eh, whatever. We'll see it in action probably. Looks like we got some dudes. Yeah, I haven't seen this. <laughs> That's cute. How's your loyalty, lady? Oh, it's zero. Sweet. Wait, why are you still here? Usually at zero, they just frickin' leave. Wait. Oh, I think she is leaving. I don't know where her partner is. Oh, no, there's her partner. Hmm. Are you leaving now? Providing backup. Checking a door. Hmm. I thought they immediately just left when their loyalty hit zero, but apparently I'm mistaken. Whatever, they're they're stuck and they don't know what they're doing, which is exactly what I wanted out of this. Is, uh, burglars, we'll have to keep our eyes on them. All right, let's run our missions here. Son of a bitch. Oh wow, these guys, holy crap, you guys got here fast. Okay, 30 seconds for the frozen caveman. And 36 seconds for the, uh, cloak? Invisibility cloth? Whatever you want to call it. And then we'll stick one of these guys, one of these pieces of loot in the sta uh, in the infirmary by the front door, and we'll stick the other one in the control room in front of the consoles. That way, all of them are getting their loyalty back. Oh, damn, I failed that one. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Doc Ingram here with some news from the Antarctic branch of Smash. They finally got their snowmobiles working and were able to quickly respond to the latest evil threat. It's good to see the Smash forces earning their keep and protecting our Antarctic research stations for once. Hopefully, this will give those evil goons something to think about. This is Brava Lopfeng, broadcasting from the Tibetan Plateau, here to enlighten all of East China. I mean factual enlightenment, of course. It takes decades of introspection to achieve the inner harmony that I possess. And I hardly think I can just dole out that sort of spiritual enlightenment over the airway. The evil organization has been committing sinful acts again, flooding the region with negative chi. Welp. We'll get that other item. All right, there was also some more physical loot in Anvil. I just didn't want to go for it quite yet. Class Act, in the hope of improving somewhat strained relationship. Oh, right. Man, that's a, that is a very high-risk mission for such a small loot. All right, we're going to have to continue with the story at some point, too. And to do that, we're going to need some diplomats. So I think what I'm going to do in the meantime here... All right, they're still waiting for people. Is I'm going to go kidnap a diplomat. I think... Yep, there's one. I need eight valets. Oh, right. 
Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a risky business. We're going to take eight valets, three scientists, whoops, and ten mercs. And I don't need that many mercs. The reason I'm bringing them in is because I want to steal from this region. It's one of the most expensive. Actually, that's kind of dumb. Let's not put that many. Six should be fine. All right, but... That is probably going to summon some soldiers, so I'm considering getting everybody armed up. Um, we'll do that later. Like, we won't arm them immediately, because it's silly to arm everybody when there's not even a threat here in the base, but... Why is all of your attention so crap? You guys do realize that this thing improves attention, right? So why do you guys, why are you guys so confused? Oh, I bet you they tripped the trap. I have a, yup, and then this poor guy, he must have hit the tra hit the button again too, because he's out of attention. I have to escort his butt out of here. That works. The more we distract the forces of good, the better. All right, so, oh, this region has, okay, 30 seconds. Let's try this one again. I think we'll be fine. And I think I'm going to recall all of my henchmen because if we're indeed going to be visited by some soldiers from Smash, I need to make sure I've got some actual security here. Wow, a lot of my dudes just died in the Antarctica. It's only a risk one mission. I can't believe they're having so many problems. Hey, jazz fans, Dr. Ingram here from Antarctica Station on the ground, broadcasting for two hours every night just to stay sane. I'm hearing reports from other monitoring stations that another raid has been pulled off and more valuable research has been disrupted by the mysterious evil organization. Here's hoping they don't strike again. This is Lost Bank. All right, so we're putting a security camera in the infirmary. So in case this gets stolen, I can react to it very quickly. We should also put some loot in here. I could probably move one of the Uber loots from back here into that training area. Yeah, the samurai armor is only loyalty. That's actually a good one to do. Um. Oh, someone can view it from the back. That's funky. Okay, uh, we'll put it right there. So again, we'll have to watch that carefully, make sure no one takes it, but I think part of that will be moving this camera to here. Because the camera can see through the equipment racks, which is kind of strange, but that way we can keep the samurai armor very clearly seen. Ooh, these, uh, these ladies, guys, these lady guys, these guys are heading toward our magnet and loyalty trap. Let's see how this works out for us. Oh, that kind of doesn't work out for us at all. Nope, they're not even hitting the, um... They're not even hitting the gas. Well, that stinks. We killed one, which is useful. But they're not even hitting the gas. Man. Well. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's get the gas trap out of there. I mean, we we did what we needed to do. We took them out, so whatever. I hope I'm not losing too many people that way. Doesn't seem so. All right. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay, see, oh yeah, look, our heat is at like 99%. That's before I even kidnapped the diplomat. Okay, yeah, this is gonna get kind of ugly. Are those soldiers? Sure are, everybody arm up. And we're going to get our evil genius to a slightly safer location. We'll actually bring her back here because we're about to make so many bodies that... Yeah, they just blew up one of my... They just blew up my, um... My, uh... Outdoor motion detector. 
And now that they have shot something and one of them got set on fire, now they're all upset and will start shooting on sight. So we're going to have to watch these guys carefully. Actually, I'm just going to flag them for death now and we're going to send in our best people. Send in the butcher. Send in Jubei. Jubai. And of course, the wrecking ball, Red Ivan. Yeah, this is, uh. This is gonna not do very well here. Of course, I don't have my mercs. Go get him, Jubai. Nice. Holy shit! Good lord. Ivan didn't even get involved in that situation. Alright, you need to go there. Butcher, you need to get involved. Ah, oh, damn it, they blew up my door. Oh well, they're not gonna survive very long. Hey, uh, uh, guy, get over there too, Eli. What are these guys' ratings? Exceptional? They're exceptional, and we trashed them that fast. Oh, I love my henchmen, man. All right, uh, let's see. Now that the way is temporarily cleared, we're gonna set up a camera system. We're gonna get rid of this thing. I had a feeling that wasn't gonna do very well out there. Camouflage door. Fixing the problems, and that's gonna do it for today's episode, since, uh... Like, I knew that- oh, hey. Are you gonna- are you gonna ma get magneted? Sure aren't. Alright, your life is just forfeit then. Oh, sweet, there we go. Citizens in all Smash territories are being asked to remain vigilant as the spate of kidnappings continues. Skilled civilians are being spirited away by the evil organizations for a unknown purpose. In an off-the-record comment, one Smash official said that the chances of rescuing the hostages were slim to none. Okay, well, good news, bad news, and worse news. Good news... <laughs> is that uh, we got the diplomat, we're bringing him to a cell. The bad news is that we just pissed off Patriot enough that their top man, Dirk Masters, has uh, been alerted to our presence. So Dirk Masters is going to be around. He is the Rambo um, equivalent. So you will get to see a fourth super agent involve himself soon. The worst news? This is time for the next episode, and it was three minutes ago, and I had said at the end of the last episode I was going to do better about the 20 minute time limit. <laughs> I'm failing miserably. Maybe we'll get back to 20 minutes on the next one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, maybe I should take the henchman out so Dark Masters doesn't shoot him in the face. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow for another episode.